Dear President and Special Rapporteur, the Advocates for Human Rights welcomes the update from the Special Rapporteur on the situation of human rights in Eritrea. We particularly welcome the Special Rapporteur's as well as the preceding Commission of Inquiry's emphasis on the crimes of enslavement and arbitrary detention, as well as on the need for accountability. As an NGO that provides free legal services to asylum seekers in the U.S., the Advocates for Human Rights would particularly like to draw attention to the issues of forced recruitment and detention that the Special Rapporteur has highlighted. Our clients from Eritrea, who have been forced to flee the human rights conditions de detailed by the Special Rapporteur, have shared with us first-hand accounts that corroborate the ongoing serious situation in Eritrea. For example, both male and female Eritrean clients report forcible conscri conscription into national military service and forced labor under harsh conditions, including hard labor. Our air train clients report that they experience frequent beatings, torture, and denial of food and water during their military service, which often lasts indefinitely. One of our air train clients escaped only after 10 years of forced labor. Medical orders exempting one disabled client from service were disregarded. Additionally, our air train clients report being arrested, interrogated, detained, and tortured on religious or national origin grounds, or for speaking out against the government. Clients report being detained in deplorable conditions, including one who was held in a shipping container for six months under extremely hot conditions. The Advocates for Human Rights remain deeply concerned about the thousands of asylum seekers fleeing Eritrea, the additional human rights abuses and loss of life they face in flight, and the detention and risk of forcible return that they face in countries of asylum. The Advocates for Human Rights calls upon the Human Rights Council to continue the mandate on the Special Rapporteur on the situation of human rights in Eritrea and keep the situation of Eritrea on its agenda and urge all member states to respect Eritreans' right to freedom of movement and the right to seek and enjoy, enjoy asylum, and to ensure that the UNHCR has access to all detained Eritreans seeking refugee protection. Thank you.